Hello and welcome back to Fate's Guide on how to make maps in Team Fortress 2 using Hammer. This is Chapter 2. If you followed along in Chapter 1, you learned how to make a basic cube room such as this. So what we're going to do is enlarge this room. So we have the floor selected here, and we're just going to drag it up a little ways. Let's do like that. And if you go to the camera view, you can go outside and see, yes, the floor is indeed larger. So we're going to go ahead and select a wall and stretch it down to the edge of the floor like this. Grab this wall, drag it up, stretch it to the edge. We're going to leave two spaces here for that wall. Drag the wall up here. Oops, only need one space, so we just stretch this over like that. And take this wall and oops. Take this wall and stretch it back down to the edge. Grab this wall and stretch it to meet here. And we have all four walls and the floor stretched. So let's go ahead and do the ceiling now. Select it now. You can select it in the 3D view like this, or you could select it on the grid like that. And it's easier to do it from a top-down view, so we'll just stretch this over like that. And now we've successfully enlarged this room. So what we're going to do next is we're going to select all four of the walls. You hold down control when you select a wall and you can select multiple brushes or objects at the same time. So we have all four walls selected. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over here to the XZ view, side view, hold down shift and stretch it up and put it directly on top of the other wall. And now we're going to grab the ceiling here and we're going to stretch it or basically move it up on top of that. So now we've made the walls taller, although they're two separate walls. So now that we have this in place, we're going to select all the top walls, hold down control, select all the top walls and the ceiling. Now what we're going to want to do is select this tool right here to apply texture to it. So we go to browse and in this box under filter we're going to type in tools forward slash tools skybox and so there's going to be two S's T-O-O-L-S S-K-Y-B-O-X. Hit enter and it selects the skybox and you're going to want the 3D version and we just hit apply and might even just hit fit here to make it stretch it not really necessary but we'll be learning how to do that with other textures in upcoming tutorials so now we close this and now you have an enlarged room with walls and skybox on top of it